Hey guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. It is Saturday, March 26th, and it's currently 12.49, and I have Zaire here because I was looking on my channel to see who I haven't did a video with in a while, which is kind of all the babies. But Zaire, his video that I did with him was Valentine's Day, which was the 14th. I think I did it a little bit. I posted it a little bit after Valentine's Day. So it's been a month. So I just want to change about this. And he's going to go in kind of like a repeating onesie. He looks shiny because this ring light is like directly on him. But he's going to go in this onesie that literally looks like the onesie he has on already. So we're just going to ignore that. I actually have a lot of newborn boy clothes because I have bought um, a lot like a month ago or a few weeks ago and um yeah but he's gonna just wear his onesie because i didn't feel like lying out to find him something to actually wear but i promise the next changing video will be a little bit more organized hopefully so he's just gonna go in this uh blue and red onesie you guys saw that um i put this on chandler then i took it right off after the video because it was too small for him so we're just gonna change that year I'm going to be talking about a topic that's, um, I've just been seeing this a lot, um, and I know a lot of people are new to the Reborn community, so they don't know as much as someone who's been here for even a few years, um, but I keep seeing it, I keep seeing it, and, um, I just wanted to just talk about it as a whole, uh, so there has been a lot of scam kits going on and so everyone's now checking to see if their babies are authentic and making sure that they don't buy a scam kit and what to look out for and many of the things pop up to look out for is coas and um i saw someone ask if the baby doesn't have a coa does that mean they're a fake kit and so, you know, us who have been in the community for a while now, we're like, of course not, no. But you get people who don't know anything about the hobby and they just entered it for the cute babies, just like me. So, um, as a COA equal authentic kit does not having a COA equal an unauthentic kit. The answer is, if you have a COA, your kit I would say your kit is real, but they're making fake COAs now for the fake kits. So I can't even say that anymore. But for the most part, your kit is real. Now I see them saying, my baby doesn't have a stamp on the back of their neck. Is my baby real? Is my kit real? And before I would have said, your kit's not real because it doesn't have a stamp on the back of his neck. But there's many kits out there, especially the older kits, where we didn't have to look out for much as much like the fraud and the fake scam kids, but you know, time has changed, things have evolved, people are finding ways to do anything nowadays. But there's a lot of kids out there that does not have a stamp or a signature on the back of their neck. And even the scam kids are having stamps on the back of the neck, but you can tell when it's like something off because it's like a, like numbers and letters mixed in. It's usually the kid name with the sculptor's name or just the sculptor's name or just the kit name one of those it's not usually random numbers like one two three and then random letters hi5 yeah it's nothing like that um but again some kits don't have um markings on the back of their neck which is totally normal it does not mean your kit is an um unauthentic or scam kit and some kits just don't come with a coa i've had many kits not come with the coa especially on bountiful baby bountiful baby kits do not come with the coa they just started making real borns in what 2016 2017 no it might have been 2014 2015 because i'm thinking of presley i think presley came out 2013 2014 i want to say 2014 is when Realborns were introduced and you know they're now rapidly being reproduced but before it was very slow the the process was very slow for more Realborn kits to come out but now it's just like every week there's a new Realborn kit but anyways 
before the Roborns, there were just regular kids. And of course, there still are just regular kids on there. And they do not come with the COA. Even some of the Roborns still come with the COA. Now, let me rephrase that. If you buy a Roborn Seconds kit, it will not come with a COA. Does that mean your kit is fake? No, it does not. Some kits just don't come with the COA. And some of the Bountiful Baby kits don't have the stamping on the back of its neck. And for some of the newer Roborn kits, the stamping isn't on the back of the neck. It is on the inside of the ring. So you will not be able to see it unless you take your baby apart. That's the only way you will see the stamping on the back of the neck. Because I think that's for, uh, I think Claudia, Roborn Claudia, she has the stamping in like the inside of the rings and like the inside of the neck ring which you're not gonna be able to see because it's covered up with the cloth. So, you know, COA does not mean that your, if you don't have a COA, it does not mean that your baby, oh gosh, you guys were blurry the whole time. It does not mean that your baby is a fake kit. You saying that it does not have a stamping on the back of the neck does not mean it's a fake kit. The only way you can really tell is that they look slightly different. And, um, the most common kits that are getting scammed, it's a lot. It's a lot now. Saskia. It's not, I haven't seen any scam Bountiful Baby kits, but I could be wrong. Saskia, Liam, Levi, Twin A, Twin B, um, April, Sunny. What are the ones? Um, Ariana. Those are the main ones I see. There's, there's a lot more, but that's just me going off the top of my head. So definitely be careful for those. Um, another way, the only way that I really feel that you can tell if your baby is um, a scam kid or not is the proof of where the person purchases that. If they purchase it off of Amazon, it is a fake scam kit or baby. I know you guys are probably tired of hearing about scam kits and scam babies, but it's just a reality that we have to face in the community from now on moving forward. So just might as well bring awareness because a lot of people don't know these things. Trusted dealers in the U.S. because it's different for where you're at in the world. For the U.S. it is MacPherson Arts and Crafts, Dows by Sandy, Irresistibles, Trueborn, and I think I'm forgetting one more, but there's probably one more. And then, of course, getting the kit directly off of the sculptor's website. Their website. It's usually their name and then .com. Usually, but I'm not 100% sure. And, of course, it could be something else. It's really whatever they make it as. So, um, yeah, here's our year. But, yeah, to answer you guys' this question, no. Just because you don't have a COA does not mean your baby is fake. Just get proof of purchase. Um, show... Have them show you where they directly bought the kit from if they're the artist and they don't have a COA for the baby or if the baby doesn't have a stamping on the back of the neck. If it doesn't have both of those, you definitely want to see proof of purchase. They got it from Trueborn's Greats, an authentic real kit. They got it from MacPherson Arts and Crafts, Greats, authentic real kit. So on and so forth from the dealers that I just listed right now. But that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to get on here and educate um, a few of you who are new to the community or just don't know about these things. It's always great to spread awareness. So whenever you can, help someone else out and um, try to spread them information that you know are legitimate facts and nothing that you just heard. Try to actually see it for your own eyes or know like 100% sure. If you're not 100% sure, I wouldn't suggest spreading that information out because, oh, Bountiful Baby, I forgot Bountiful Baby, they're an authentic source for buying blank reborn kits. I've been seeing a lot of misinformation be spread about the community, about the reborns, the kids, and so I wish people wouldn't spread things like information that they don't know. Me as I year is done for this video. We're just going to leave you guys alone now. Um, I apologize for not making videos in a very, very long time. I already told you guys my last video. I just didn't feel like making videos. I still don't. I've just been doing homework, working, and reading. I just finished a book called Legendborn. Really, really good. And I'm starting a flicker in the dark.
today. Let me know if you guys ever read any of those books or um, heard of any of the um, authors. It's Tracy Dion for Legendborn and Stacey Willingham for A Flick in the Dark. And then I also have bought The Institute by Stephen King like a couple of days ago and it came to me yesterday. And I'm going to be starting that book as well and I'll let you guys know if I remember how I liked it. But um, I'll talk more about the books if you guys want me to in a different video. But I'm gonna, I am going to let you guys go. Um, none of the babies sold. So Javen is for sale. If you guys are interested in him, then contact me. He is officially for sale because I'm going to be posting this video tomorrow, which is the 27th. It's my little cousin's birthday. The one you guys always see in here in the background. Well, there's two that you guys always hear in the background. But there's one that you guys actually see. It's her birthday tomorrow. But... I'm going to post this video tomorrow and um, Javen will be for sale. So if you're interested, let me know. And the, those of you who I told you guys wanted me to contact you, I will contact you guys, but I won't contact you guys tomorrow. I'll probably contact you guys in a little bit, a few days after that. Um, I can ship Javen out on April 2nd. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm not going to do the emoji thing. Just comment down below a random emoji you guys see. If you guys like this video, give it a big... Oh, I didn't even do my socials. I just want the video to be over with. <laughs> I am on Instagram at my underscore reborn. If you guys want to give me a follow over there, I do follow back reborn accounts. And they just switched Instagram back to chronological... <laughs> they just switched the accounts back to the order that it goes in from when you post the, the c word i'm not even going to butcher it i'm not going to sit here five minutes trying to say it so you guys definitely want to go make sure you're clicking on that to see when people are posting first or i don't know i don't know anyways yeah they're back in chronological order so mark me as your favorite on there as well so you guys can see when I post in your newsfeed first. Or you can turn on post notifications. I don't post like that. So don't worry. I won't be bothering you guys too much. I am on Rebones.com under Melanated Bay Bay. So if you guys want to give me a follow over there. I do have a membership if you guys want to join it. If you guys like this video, get a big thumbs up. Comment down below anything in the comments, including video requests. And if you guys wanted me to come on with another baby or a different baby that you haven't saw in a while or you just love, let me know. And I will talk to you guys later. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also ring that bell so you guys can always be notified when I post another video. Bye.